Today we will learn to use had with some very simple examples. So you will learn very easily. For those who think English grammar is difficult, it will be easy to use. You must learn to use had. Only then you will be able to perfect your English. So let's get started. Today we will learn how to use had in sentences. In a rough way, had is used in past tense. Had is also used as a helping verb. Moreover, had is used with I, you, we, they, he, see, eat, name, any kind of name. First of all, we should know we use have has in the present tense. As we say, I have a laptop. I have a laptop. He has a car. He has a car. We use have or has according to person to say we have some positions. For example, has is used with he, see, eat, name. You can put had with any person like I, we, he, see, they, name. The past form of have has is had. However, had is used in many ways, such as, I had my dinner, I had my dinner, I had my breakfast, I had my breakfast, I had my lunch, I had my lunch, I had an idea in my head, I had an idea in my head. I had a doubt. I had a doubt. He had fever last week. He had fever last week. I had a meeting yesterday. I had a meeting yesterday. I had some questions. I had some questions. How to create negative sentence using had? The sentence structure is subject plus had plus no, plus object. For example, I had no money. I had no money. He had no license. He had no license. I didn't have money. I didn't have money. I didn't have time. I didn't have time. Let's learn some of the uses of had that are useful to us every day. I had a good idea. I had a good idea. I had a good time. I had a good time. We had lovely meal. We had lovely meal. He had dark brown hair. He had dark brown hair. We had a secret meeting. We had a secret meeting. I had a phone call from him. I had a phone call from him. I had a strange dream last night. I had a strange dream last night. He had a lot of money in the bank. He had a lot of money in the bank. I had a cup of coffee at the coffee shop. I had a cup of coffee at the coffee shop. Try to learn and practice such sentences every day. Because if you don't practice, you can't speak or learn English. You will need to practice every day for speaking English fluently. Practice is the key to success. If you like the video, please comment. And if you can share. Stay well and stay with me to learn English.